Okay, we're vortex hunting right now, and I believe that when you look for a vortex, you'll look like, for example, sometimes you'll find, like, mushrooms. Sometimes when you look for the vortex, you'll find, like, for example, mushrooms, and you'll find these bare areas. Notice where nothing's growing, and um, that's pretty symbolic, I think, of a vortex. Notice that they sometimes grow in a ring, and um, also, here, there's another bare area where nothing grows. And that's typical of a vortex. Another thing that I will notice near a vortex is like an anthill or an area where animals are digging holes. For example, a raccoon will dig a hole. If it detects a nest of yellow jackets, it'll dig it up and eat it. So holes are also common in an area where you see a vortex. I'll take a look. Again, nothing growing in the area. A bare spot in the middle of the lawn is a good example of something you would expect. Now it's raining today, so when you notice that there's an area where nothing grows, it's not because of lack of water because of uh, other things and I think something about the energy near the vortex makes things not grow very well.